today, especially welcome you to portraits. Today is the day that the Lord has made. We will rejoice and be glad in it. My friends, let's take this confession together. Today I am lifted. I will not fail. Jesus never fails. My eyes are on him from whom all blessings flow. I conquer fears in him and bless beyond man's destruction. I'm moving with the power of an eagle. I will not stumble. My goals are assured in him. All to his praise and glory. In Jesus' name, amen and amen. I want to quickly share with you legacy. Legacy. Legacy is money or property bequeathed to another by will or something handed down from an ancestor or a predecessor or from the past. Legacy are rare and they are special gifts from one person to another, from one generation to the next. However, as Christians, we need to leave a befitting legacy for our children and our children's children. In Proverbs 13, 22, he said, A good man liveth an inheritance for his children, for his children's children, and the wealth of the sinner is laid up for the just. Agreed. The best legacy you can leave for your children is the legacy for them to follow your footpath. God was so convinced that Abraham will teach his children the ways of him. That is the ways of God. That is why he blessed Abraham abundantly abundantly in Deuteronomy 6 from 5 to 7 Deuteronomy 6 5 to 7 he said and thou shalt love the Lord thy God with all thy heart and with all thy soul and with all thy might and these words which I command thee this day shall be in thy heart and thou shalt teach them diligently unto the, thy children and shall talk of them when thou sittest in the house, and when thou walkest by the way, and when thou liest down, and when thou risest up. You must maintain godly character and conduct a good name. Good name is choosing than riches. I know the legacy. Most of us want to leave for our children our properties in all nook and crannies of the outer world. Properties like buildings, vehicles, and so on and so forth. But you will agree with me that buildings of today may not last for the next 20 years. Vehicles that are invoked five years ago today, they are obsolete and old-fashioned because we are talking of what the children will inherit when you must have done. Mm -mm. It is not those properties that matters. Somebody personally called me up and showed me two-story buildings and he told me categorically that this story building is not going to put them in his will. That before he die, he's going to sell those two story buildings. And I asked him why. He said the best legacy that he's going to leave for his children is to ensure that they are well educated. 
When you are not educated, you cannot think, think wise. He said he's going to sell those two story buildings and put them in an educational endowment fund. And it makes sense. It's not in the abundance of the property that you have. Those are not legacy that will last forever. The legacy that will last forever is to ensure that your children are following your footsteps, following you in godly manner. That is what will last. Because in God, you have the true value of life. The true value of life. That is why some people are buying jewelry up to billions of naira and statue them away. That is what they call legacy. At the same time, go and check most of their children. They are wayward. Those children that are seeing those properties, those things that have been started away, those of them, they are prodigal children. Some of them, they are prodigal sons and prodigal daughters. In portrait, that is not what we are teaching. What we are saying is that the, the legacy that will last forever is the legacy for telling your children about God's acts. And telling them that they should follow God. Because anyone that follows God cannot miss it in life. I know we want to build reputation. Mm -mm. We want to build reputation. It's not about reputation. It's about our character. Our character. Our character. Want to say, oh, I have this in Dubai. I have this in UK. I have this in US. No. And at the end of the day, when you die, your children will sell them off. And use it to, to, to do things that are not necessary. Things that have, have, have no value. My friends. I ask you to have a rethink of this life. Think of what has value. Value that will last forever. It's only God in God that will last forever. That legacy of them knowing God. Is what that will last forever. My prayer for you is that the enemy will not shortchange you to think that if I have money in the various banks, if I have property in different countries, oh, that is the only time that I know that I've arrived. No. Your life is something more than that. It's more than gold. It's more than gold. It's more than silver. The Jesus you know, the God you know is more than gold, is more than silver. That is the lasting legacy. My prayer for you is that you will not go off the right road. The right road is leaving a legacy for your children that they know God. And God bless you. Take it now.